Good morning. Lovely to see you, Simon Peter. Nice to see you, Sarah. So how are things? Things are getting back into good shape. Uh, we, the numbers are going down in terms of infections. Uh, but, that, but we have been warned before that we are not of the woods yet. And therefore, we need to be cautious. So the flip side of that is that the young generation, the generation Z, you know, the young, the young millennials, um, they, they, they have lowered their guards. And, and, and of late, we've seen the numbers slightly increasing. That's dangerous because they, they do not know they are putting old people at risk. Tell me about uh, what's happening. You were doing a lot of food relief. Well, they are. They were a thousand and fifty families, um, and this this happened across uh, ten different locations within Nairobi. Um, then, uh, if you take each family to have like five people, we'll be talking about over five thousand people who are cushioned uh, from hunger. There is no safety net of social services, is there? Definitely yes. Uh, so the social service here is undefined. So the churches that we work with therefore become the safety nets, a community safety nets. And since we work through the local churches, um, they are able to identify the, the household, the, the, fam the needy households. They are able to um, work with them, offering pastoral care. And so our role is just to complement what the pastors are doing in communities and, and, and strengthen that by offering some some supplies for, for, for food. The employment, uh, has that been massively affected by coronavirus? Small scale business people, uh, and then most of them would be the informal settlements, they haven't regained their ground yet. Uh, they're still struggling uh, because uh, of access to capital, but also then again, commodities are high in terms of prices, uh, prices are very high. And so, and so without incentives, it will be a long time before they get back onto their businesses. Now, that has ripple effect into, into them providing for their households at the moment. Employment opportunities are still very slim because businesses have not gone back to normal. Even, so even in the formal economy, formal employment, informal employment, they have, they have, the, the effects are here with us and they are biting really hard. Um, how can St. Mary's help? Well, that's, that's a very good question uh, because a Center for Urban Mission is now getting into disaster and risk reduction uh, through local churches. We would like to equip church leaders so that they can be able to be prepared and deal with the trauma of COVID-19 uh, and, and many other related outcomes of trauma. Yes. Uh, but also the, we, we have another conversation on how we can be able to construct uh, our Tafakari Center, our center in Kibera. We are seeking to construct that into a, a more dignified building that will host more people, that will create more outcome. Uh, there will be a hospital in the, in the center. There will be a light industry for women in the center. There will be a library in the center. There will be a studio for the young people in the center. There will be a, a room for people living with disabilities to come and just talk and, and do some economic empowerment. Um, there will also be a vocational training institute for the young people in that center. Do you have plans to restart the Schools of Hope, the homework clubs? The Schools of Hope have been happening. We, 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 the churches opened up their spaces and children were meeting, but then again, the, the, it's only the, um, the, the, the finalists, those people who are doing their exams this year. They, 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 they were doing that hungry. They were not able to get some food. Uh, uh, we will organize, we would we'll like some help in providing for their food and, and things like those. Yeah, and we that would be grateful. Yeah. So thank you so much. A big thank you for the support. Yeah. You supported CUM in the time of need, and we are truly grateful. Thank you so, so much. Yeah.